tutorial I want to look at the leave colour effect which is the effect that we saw in Schindler's List with the little girl with a red dress and what we want to do is leave the colour of say this teapot and desaturate the rest of the image and we can do that with the leave colour effect now it's not always the easiest effect to use but it's quite a powerful effect but sometimes you have to work around bits and pieces to avoid other problems for instance there is other red in this shot the titles for these books for instance so we need to think about other ways of doing it as well as just using the leave color effect so I'm going to find the leave color effect go to the effects tab and I'm going to type in get rid of what's in there and just type in leave l-e-a-v-e -E, and by the time I got to leave you'll see under video effects color correction we've got leave color make sure that the video is selected which it is double click to apply go to the effects controls and there's the leave color effect it's underneath all the other effects that I've actually used before now bear in mind that there is a slight difference in rendering order the way that things work with Premiere Pro so sometimes you can try it at the bottom and if it doesn't work take it to the top of your stack if you've got lots of different bits and pieces and try moving it around to see what different effects you've got I'm not going to go into that now but just bear in mind that having it at the bottom of the stack doesn't mean that I can't move it as you see to the top of the stack and play around but it should be okay where we are for this here now clearly this is the color to leave it's come up as a red but what we do need to do is take the color picker and go to the teapot and choose the color we want to leave which is probably that one just there we can't add or take away colors we've just got one color and then what we want to do is immediately desaturate it so we've got amount to decolor knock that up to a hundred percent and we'll see how much of the teapot we've got so you can see that's not bad we've got quite a lot of the teapot but we're also starting to get some of our man into his hands and bits and pieces so we've got a couple of options we've got a tolerance option a softness option and a match color option so we are at the moment using the RGB but we could if we want try a different method which uses hue but as you can see that's actually going to give us worse results so we still want to stick with RGB so I'm going to go back to RGB and now we can look at the tolerance we can increase the tolerance but that will bring in more so if I decrease the tolerance a bit see if we can get rid of some of these lines on his face there you go we've got rid of some of the lines but we haven't got such a good look on the teapot itself so let's see we've got that at 12 let's just click there and take it to 13 and see if that makes a difference and we're going to be okay we're just beginning to get a bit on his hand at 13 so let's not move that up but let's play perhaps with the edge softness see what that gives us if I pull the edge softness up you don't have to go much before you start to see that it really affects the rest of the image so we can't really use edge softness we're just going to have to work with tolerance and that gives us this end result that we're working with which isn't bad but isn't perfect so there are other ways of working around this and the way that I would generally work on this one is obviously I play with these tolerances and see how I'm going maybe click around and try a slightly different color and see if you get a better result by choosing a different color in the range that's slightly better let's try another one perhaps over here so a brighter color perhaps just uh, say there and you can see that's given us a slightly better look but actually we're pulling in more of his lips again so I'd still need to go down say back to 12 and even then we've still got some on his lips so I might even then need to go to 11 and 11's done it we've got rid of it but we've got some gray in the actual teapot okay so here's another workaround to try and just concentrate on the item that you want to keep what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black video and I'm going to shift it up a layer to give myself a spare layer and then what I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer now in Premiere Pro CS6 if you want to duplicate a footage item you select the item and you hold the alt key on a PC the option key on a Mac and then you just move it so I'm going to drag it up to this layer and I'm creating a duplicate let go and I've now got a duplicate on video layer 2 and I've got the original on video layer 1 but they're exactly the same so what I want to do is I want to create a mask just around the teapot for video layer 2 and I would use a garbage mat now generally speaking I go in and choose a 16 point garbage mat and be fairly precise because this isn't going to move much so I go to effects and then you would type in here 16 SIX and by the time you got to 16 you've got a 16 point garbage mat but just for the sake of speed I'm just going to use a 4 point garbage mat there's a four point garbage mat 
and this time I'm actually going to click and drag it to make sure it goes on the right layer even though it was selected I'm going to let go and it's on the right layer I know that because I clicked and dragged and dropped it on there go to the effects controls click on the word four point garbage mat and then I can actually take these points and pull them very closely around the area that's important to me which is this teapot and there you go the teapot is surrounded with the garbage mat now I'm just going to show you that layer so you can see what I mean that's all that's being shown by that four point garbage mat so what I can do is I can now with that layer selected make sure I'm playing with that one I can just perhaps play a little bit more and add a bit more in there possibly a little bit more on the edge softness just to give myself a little bit of a better feel a better look at the end so that I've not got too much on the fingers but I've got an awful lot more of the red teapot and underneath this is the rest of this shot what I can do is I can select the bottom layer and I can actually take this leave color and I can just actually take this tolerance down to zero so that nothing else is included everything else is now desaturated and you'll see that the red in these books has completely disappeared because there is no tolerance no color is being included the whole image is being desaturated if I just turn that on you'll see what I mean that all that's included in this shot it's all desaturated because the tolerance is at zero the bottom layer now is just black and white and therefore by adding the layer on top which has just got the teapot in it you can see that we've just got the teapot showing and there's a little bit on his fingers but we might be able to get away with that say because his fingers are very near to that teapot and then you can actually pull it through and see what the difference is going to look so when he actually pulls his fingers away a bit later on you'll see that the only thing that's got any colour in it is around that garbage mat that we worked on now you do need to watch things you can see here clearly that the spout of the teapot's moved outside my garbage mat so you do need to be careful when you set up your garbage mat just to make sure that you've included everything you can see that it had moved and gone outside the range there so that's a way of using two layers to be able to do it and I can actually turn my black video on at the edge there and click away and you can see that that's the kind of result we're going to get it's not perfect but you can see it is a very powerful effect but sometimes you do need to think about compositing having one layer on top of the other and then applying a mat around it so that a 16 point or an 8 point or a 4 point garbage mat so that you've just got the item you want to work with showing so that you can completely desaturate the layer underneath and get the effect that you're looking for so that is the leave color effect